Hey guys, welcome to Coin Nation. Today we're going to talk about why it's 100% okay to be unhinged, irrational, and unreasonably bullish in this current phase of the market cycle. And I'll also outline my 2024-2025 profit-taking strategy for ICP. If this makes you even the least bit bullish, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. <music> So guys, where are we? The majority of retail is barely even touching crypto right now. For the last few months, the market has been flashing and telling us all the information that we need in terms of which narrative will pump and which narratives have been knocked off since last bull run. And if you look carefully, certain top coins such as Polygon, Atom, XRP, and many others haven't even began their significant runs to the upside yet. The USDT money printer has been activated and in full force and Bitcoin seems prepared for liftoff. But you, my dear friend, have found the diamond in the rough, the utility token behind the alien tech that is ICP. The wave is inevitable. So how do we surf it to infinity and beyond? Some good questions we ought to be asking ourselves is should we stake it? How long, if so? And should we restake our maturity if we do end up staking? Should you keep your ICP liquid? Should you do a mixture of both? Let's talk about it. Okay, so let's take a moment right now and give yourself 100% permission to be an absolutely unreasonable, irrational bull at this current stage in the markets on both the things that you're bullish on, including ICP. Now, you good got that squared away okay let's continue i see many top youtubers right now transferring the most unnecessary fear uncertainty and doubt and caution into their community i mean come on everybody is not a trader they expect you to take profit after every pump sell before every dump guys i'm here to tell you that time in the market is not for everybody and i can time the market with the best of them. I've got so many indicators wired to my charts, it's ridiculous. And yes, many of the times they're highly accurate, but sometimes I just don't wanna risk it. And that is how I handle my ICP. Could I be wrong in the long run? Possibly, but don't let anyone dictate to you what you consider to be an investment of quality, and thus one that you just don't wanna be playing around with. Either we believe a bull market is upon us or we don't. And if you have ever participated in a legitimate crypto bull market where the liquidity cycle favors a bullish sentiment and the money printers of around the world go brr, 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 right? All over the place. Then why on God's green earth would I be trying to put FUD on you at of all stages this current stage of the market? It makes absolutely no sense. And if history tells us anything, we're barely just getting started regardless of what the you know short-term price action may entail. So what about ICP? The absolutely most phenomenal blockchain project in existence. How do we surf that way? When I began my ICP journey, I had a goal of just a few hundred ICP. Then it became 500 then a thousand and this is when a conflict began in me because historically staking is just not my thing but i began to realize that it, it wasn't necessarily staking that turned me off but the idea of locking up my capital in something that i had zero long-term conviction in for instance i love ethereum but i question where it will stand amidst a sea of far more capable layer ones in eight years the only thing it has truly going for it is first mover's advantage. I love Solana, but I have to question any chain that can go down for five hours and it not affect the price more than a few percentage points. And as of recently, it's even pumped after an outage. The whales know exactly what they're doing. And don't be surprised if big money dumps on retail harder than we ever expected it regarding Seoul. You have been 
warned. But when it came to considering ICP for the first time, the idea seemed very appealing for a number of reasons in, in terms of staking. Number one, the chart has been fully exhausted to the downside, excluding the very recent positive price action. Number two, the community is singing the ICP tune enough to bring the necessary awareness we need for the next bull run. Number three, the development scene has a bright future ahead. And I did a video on that a couple of weeks back. And number four, the innovation keeps coming from Definity regarding the protocol. And these are huge developments. Basically all systems go. So I, I quickly concluded that with an eight year lockup at anything above 13, 14% APR would lead to worst case scenario of at least making back my principal within the next couple of years. But the best case scenario is ICP solidifying itself in a top 10 position and after price discovery, never coming back down to certain key levels, keeping at least a three digit in the billions market cap. So what I decided at this point was to mitigate risk, I would accumulate another batch of ICP with the goal of never selling. My minimum was 500, which was half of my liquid profit taking position. Now, if any of you have ever staked ICP, you probably know how addictive it can become. So as of today, my staking position sits at 600 ICP with a new target of 800. That way I can generate around 100 a year in maturity, 100 ICP a year. So should you stake, who should stake, right? First of all, I only find value in the maximum staking configuration, which as of today sits at a yield around 15.9%. If you plan on taking profit in the bull run, I think that the strategy that I have employed is the best way to go about it because number one, you expose yourself to all the potential profit taking levels with your larger bag of liquid ICP. Number two, you also set yourself up for long term in the event that the best bull case scenario for ICP plays out. There's really only one risk that I found with my strategy and that is that you limit your upside in the event that ICP goes to the moon and never comes back down. You are in no wise completely boxing yourself out, but just limited in terms of the maturity that could have been earned had you staked all of your ICP. This is a risk that I am willing to take as you maintain the flexibility of what to do with your gains on the liquid ICP. So what about maturity restaking? Many of the community are going all in, you know, and I'm not mad at it. I respect it. I'm talking the maximum bull, right? All risk, no playing it safe. By this, I mean 100% of your ICP is staked while also restaking 100% of your maturity. You know, I think that you risk the possibility of missing out on all the price action and having to wait for your maturity to trickle in daily in order to take any kind of profit. I can just see that as being a potential recipe for disaster and probably a little bit torturous. But who knows, in the long term, it may very well pay off. With all that being said, here is my exact ICP profit taking strategy. Number one, I'm holding 1000 ICP liquid, which I plan on taking profits along the way up. And once satisfied, and you have to define what that level of satisfaction is for yourself, I'll most likely maintain a moon bag of a few hundred ICP. And as of now, I have 600 ICP locked in an eight year undissolving state where I am not restaking the maturity. My staking target started out as 500 ICP. However, 800 appears to be calling my name right now. The goal is to cash in on staking rewards to at least break even with the initial stake investment. So what does my strategy ensure? Number one, that profits are locked in along the way up. Number two, a moon bag allows for exposure to the infinity and beyond type growth that may happen. Number three, long-term staking allows for long-term exposure without the emotional pitfalls driven by price speculation. Number four, taking profit on the staking rewards allows for risk-free long-term staking as it will have cost me absolutely nothing to possibly end up with a lifelong income on an appreciating asset.
The name of the game is walking away with more than you started with. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you received maximum value from this video. I tell you, it's a great day to be in crypto. And I'm going to leave you with Philippians 419 where it says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Future citizens of Coin Nation, don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace be with you. Until next time, citizens, out.